This video is about the noise top. The noise top generates noise and noise is basically um, a set of grayscale values that are related to each other in a particular way and the way they are related can be changed by changing the noise type. Um, there are very different types in Touch Designer, but I mostly use Simplex 3D for my work. The seed is a value that you can change if you want a different looking noise. If I change this um, to 2 for example, I will get a different looking noise. It is very important to note that if you have two instances, for example, of a noise top and you have set the seed value to the same number, you will get the exact same noise. The next slider is uh, the period. That's a bit like a zoom. If you slide to the left, you zoom out of your noise. If you slide to the right, you zoom in. Um, the harmonics I will cover in a second. The exponent is a bit like a contrast slider. If you slide it to the right, you will lower the contrast. If you slide it to the left, you will higher the contrast. If you slide it all the way to zero, you end up with just black and white pixels. And that's what I mostly use for my designs. So coming back to the harmonics, um, the harmonics define how yeah, chunky your noise looks. If you increase it, it will get like or more granular and if you lower it you will get more smooth shapes. The next tab is the transform tab. You can transform your noise in um, the x-axis, in the y-axis and because we've set the type to 3D we can also change the c-axis and by doing this we will create this nice organic cloudy like look that I use most of the time. In the output tab you can set the alpha of your noise. Currently we are placing our noise over a light gray background but our noise is only black and white pixels. So if you change the alpha to noise, you will only end up um, with the white parts of your noise. And by that you can change um, the background color, for example, and place it over an image. Yeah, that's basically all you need to know about the noise top.